Hello, this is Mike Hayes and we're talking about music theory and specifically on this video we're talking about pitch scales in relation to chord structures and the idea that we're presenting here is that each chord has a particular scale that sounds just right with that chord. Of course you can play any scale over any chord but we're looking for the perfect fit if you like and we're looking today at the 12 bar blues. On previous music theory videos we've discussed the various modes so before we get right into the 12 bar blues I'd like to do a quick review and let's start with listening to the sound of the Ionian mode and comparing the Ionian mode with the sound of the Mixolydian mode. I'm going to compare the sound of a G Ionian mode to that of a G Mixolydian mode. It's important to relate the sound of each mode to a harmonic structure. So I'm going to begin our example by playing a G major chord, followed by a G Ionian mode, and then finishing with a G major chord. And now for an example of the G Mixolydian sound. I'll begin by playing a G 7th chord, then the G Mixolydian mode, and finishing with the G 7th chord again. I think you'll agree that the G Mixolydian mode sounds just right over the G 7th chord. Now the thing to keep in mind is that we're talking about dominant 7th chords and the reason why we're talking about dominant 7th chords is because our focus on this video as we said is on the blues. So if we have a look at a standard 12 bar blues progression usually speaking we won't have triads, we won't have three note major chords we'll usually have four note chords and these chords will be dominant seventh chords just like the chord progression you see on the screen right now and the ideal mode to fit over these dominant seventh chords is the Mixolydian mode this is where our music theory kicks in and helps us understand why things work if we have a look at the G seventh chord and we have a look at the notes in the G seventh chord I have them here as a vertical structure G, B, D and F. Once we have a look at the notes that go to make up the G 7th chord we can see why the G Mixolydian mode works so well over this chord. And as we said it's a G dominant 7th chord. When we have a look at the G Mixolydian mode we can see if we took every second note we would have the exact same notes that go to make up the G dominant 7th chord. Our next step is to identify the correct Mixolydian mode to play over each chord in our 12 bar blues. And again we'll be using a musical theory that we've learnt in previous lessons when we created the scale chord series. That's the four note chords that are created out of each scale by stacking the notes of the scale on top of each other in thirds. So looking at each chord in our 12 bar blues progression we can see that the dominant 7th chords are chord 5 in each key. The G 7th chord is chord 5 in the key of C. Therefore we could play a G Mixolydian mode over the G 7th chord. The C 7th chord is chord 5 in the key of F. We could play a C Mixolydian mode over the C 7th and D 7th is chord 5 in the key of G. And we could play a D Mixolydian mode over the D 7th. We've covered a lot of musical ground on this video, so to review and consolidate everything we've learnt so far, 
here's an example of our 12 bar blues chord progression with our new Mixolydian musical resources marked in. You can see that we've identified the G Mixolydian mode that can be played over the G 7th chord. C Mixolydian can be played over the C 7th region of the blues and the D Mixolydian can be played over the D 7th chord. At the bottom of the page you'll see the various notes that are contained in each mode. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and will cover the modes in greater detail on the next video.